So we wanted to bring you on because you're you're like a face-off guru. I saw you the other day with Patrick O'Neill on the Kings broadcast. You guys were doing face-offs in the studio, and we knew you. I think you're top 25 all-time in face-off percentage, and you're doing some coaching and uh, with the LA Kings. You're helping out, and, uh, and then we see this face-off that uh, Anzi Kopitar won and over, won back to Tyler Toffoli, and they slammed it home uh, with 0.9 seconds to go. Um, first of all, do you do you think 0.9 seconds is enough time to get something like that done? Because Be Stelic, Stelic and Armstrong think that there's some funny business going on. <laughs> well, I obviously think it's uh, it's possible to do. The, the clock kind of got uh, a little iffy there on the replay. It had 0.4, but that was the um, that was another clock that kind of got stuck. But they actually went to the the real clock in the arena in TD Garden, and they that's the one they checked. And that's the one that uh, obviously it was fine. It, it allowed the goal, but yeah, obviously you can do it in point nine. I don't know if you can do it any quicker than that. It was, it's tough to, <laughs> tough to see, tough to tell seeing that, uh, that replay, how perfect that was. Can you actually win a draw that specifically to a player like Kopitar put it on the stick of Toffoli? Yeah, I think so. It, it obviously depends on the positioning of, of Tyler Toffoli or whoever's taken that one timer. And it was, it was in his wheelhouse is what he showed. Up the game. But, um, I found it interesting that Kopi is a lefty. He's taking that draw on his offside. If he was a righty, Shoot if he was a righty, he would be winning that face off away from the net, which would take longer to get to the net. He's winning that to the middle of the ice, which is closer to the net and in Tyler Toffoli's wheelhouse. So I think that made a big difference. And then you got, you got Drew Doughty to the right of him. And those are probably the two best one timers on the team. So it was a great play, great play that was drawn up. And uh, obviously they thought they could do it. Uh, you could see John Stevens before the face-off uh, talking to these guys and obviously talking about this, uh, this face-off where, where the guys are going to line up. So, If you were the Boston defender. Pasternak. Pasternak. Yeah, Pasternak. Like, should he just go for the stick or something? I'm not trying to pick on a guy. I'm just saying nine well, you tenths. Should. Yeah, nine tenths of a second What left. would you have done? Well... I, looking at Rask, I w- I'm looking at Rask as well, and I'm like, hey, he, Kopitar is not going ahead with this puck. He's going back. Rask is looking. He, he's playing it normally how he would play it on a normal faceoff. So if he, if he, he honestly turns turns a little bit to to Foley and Doughty, he's there. He, he's he's getting that one timer. So you know he's playing it kind of as a normal faceoff, but Kopitar is not going ahead in that in that instance. You could tell. So. Maybe Rask can kind of look to his right a little bit and maybe shift his body, and he, he could have had that puck. But um, I don't know. That's another uh, that's another angle on that one to to think about. But um, crazy play, crazy play. 